Law enforcement agencies are working to better prepare their officers for situations involving mental health emergencies. News 10 ABC's Cassie Hudson taking us inside a training, helping local officers with their de-escalation skills. The police department responded to 963 mental health calls within the city for the year, which was up. As the mental health epidemic continues to escalate in the United States, law enforcement agencies in the capital region are adapting to meet those challenges, starting in the classroom. We're not mental health professionals, um, but we are people who are in the community and, and see a lot of people every day and hoping that we can recognize these issues and, and get this person the help that they need. Captain Matthew Montanino says the Troy PD Emotionally Distressed Persons Response Team has been an ongoing effort since 2006. 90% of the Troy Police Department has received the training that focuses on understanding the signs and symptoms of mental illness and how to better communicate with persons experiencing a mental health challenge. When they respond to a call, hopefully they'll be able to recognize within the first few minutes that, you know, there is a, this person may be in a crisis situation. The most recent training class includes officers from Rensselaer, East Greenbush, Cohoes, Saratoga County, and Waterford Police Departments. Today, more than 350 officers have completed the training. Captain Montanino says hearing firsthand from his officers on how the knowledge de-escalated situations on the job shows him it works. You've learned to communicate, you've slowed the conversation down, you've built a relationship with this person, and now you've recognized that they could be treated for what's going on with them. On Friday, 37 officers will graduate from the most recent round of training here at Hudson Valley Community College with the goal of hopefully being able to better answer the call of duty. Reporting in Troy, Cassie Hudson, News 10, ABC.